We are here asking students and faculty how they think student suicide affects a college campus and community. How do you think that a student suicide affects a college community? I think it affects a college community because even if you don't know the person, it definitely affects people around you and especially in a small community. Um, it kind of brings people together and it really makes you appreciate the people that you have around you and your surroundings. I think it casts a dark shadow over it, but I think at the same time you see the best of people come out trying to help each other. So I think it's a little bit of light on the dark side there. Uh, defect, uh, definitely affects me negatively. Um, the impact is kind of a shock wave. It hits the campus and myself. And even if you don't know the person, you feel bad and it kind of spreads out from there. It kind of uh, puts a hazy atmosphere around the campus just everyone's kind of glum thinking about it all the time it's it's definitely not good usually but by not talking about it, it makes it worse so i feel like by talking about it everybody moves on feels better about it well suicide is almost always disturbing to me particularly when it occurs within the community that i'm a part of and of course on this campus uh, this is a relatively close-knit community that we don't always know everyone. But I think uh, suicide has this impact because of a, having a sense of a lack of control. In other words, it's something that uh, I don't feel that I did anything to control. I mean, I wasn't necessarily in a position to control it, but I'm, that's the way I'm thinking about it at this particular point in time, uh, just because of the nature of uh, suicide. Um, I can recall uh, many years ago a student from my class uh, committed suicide. He was in a class with me and of course we had a very brief conversation and the next day I heard that he had committed suicide in the Rutland area. And I felt that uh, given my background and experience and so forth and so on, I should have been in the position to detect the potential for suicide in that person. And of course I didn't, and it left me with a great deal of sorrow and so forth and so on. But that, that was sort of an immediate reaction to it. Um, once I think about suicide and the nature of it, within the context of that particular person, I realized that it is uh, not possible to actually detect in every instance a person who is about to commit suicide? Um, I personally have lost a friend in high school to suicide and it was one of the hardest things that I think I've ever had to deal with in my life and as bad as it was it also brought me ten times closer to the people around me. Everyone really steps up and helps to support and helps to come together and really show that everyone's still caring and they really are hurt by what's happened. Well, uh, my sister had a friend whose husband um, decided to kill himself a couple years ago, and it made it really hard for my sister and uh, her husband to get a, like, a grip back on their normal life. For a long time, they were really uh, despondent, and they had a hard time uh, like communicating with regular people without feeling depressed about it and stuff, and it made it difficult for us to have a, a happy family for at least a couple months until we got over it. Or, found a way to deal with it. So how do you think that the current situation on campus has impacted the campus community and all the students and faculty on it? I think it's scary for everybody. I think that uh, a lot of people are afraid because this one, sh this one person who decided to kill himself was the kind of person that was really happy and who a lot of people wouldn't think would do that. And it's scary for somebody who you think would never kill themselves to find out that they had decided to commit suicide because it makes you wonder if there's anybody else who might be having those thoughts and you just don't know it because they seem so happy on the outside. Well, how it's uh, impacted me personally is it's kind of puts the general community in a down mood where we kind of all come together similar to uh, whenever something of this nature happens within the community, kind of everyone comes together, has a very emotional connection for usually for the better. Sometimes people kind of get heated over the nature of suicide in general, so it causes some conflict, but general, uh, have suicides kind of reintroduce the topic of uh, how we deal with emotion, how we deal with like, emotional conflicts within people, and kind of we try to improve our community in general. Usually, when these situations happen, 
Um, well, suicide has definitely given me a new outlook on life. Um, it makes me value the time that I have with people, um, and it makes me want to schedule that time more frequently, even though, you know, we're all so busy. And it affects the college because it's, it's somebody that, you know, you know, or your friend knew, and, you know, everybody's hurting, really. It's... It's not something that is taken very lightly and people always say, you know, like, oh, I'm going to kill you or I'm going to kill myself, like stuff like that. And it, it's, I, that I really hope that people realize that things, saying things like that, it's, it's not a joke. It's really serious and that people need to, people need to really think before they act and they, they need to just enjoy life because it was given to them and it's such a gift. Suicide is, is a no win for anybody. And by no win, I mean, the person who is the victim, self-inflicted, uh, is no longer with us, so we'll learn nothing about the pain associated and the sense of despair that was associated with their willingness to just simply remove themselves from the situation. And equally so, the people who are afflicted by it, and those are the family members and friends, feel a sense of that maybe they could have done something, and so they're feeling a sense of loneliness, a sense of of rejection, uh, because it is a form of rejection, you're rejecting the life as opposed to them. And so they're left behind to pick up the pieces. So it is a selfish act. There's no question about it. However, everybody loses and everybody suffers. So I think part of this is the discussion of, about death in general. I don't think that we discuss it enough as a society. I think that it's a taboo, and I don't understand why. It has become such a taboo because we're all going to experience it. Uh, I alluded earlier to you that nobody gets out of here alive. So why wouldn't we want to discuss something about a, uh, the afterlife or how we're going to prepare uh, ourselves for the fact that it is? Rather than be afraid, why don't we just embrace it? And I don't mean necessarily we all jump off a hill like lemmings, but why don't we embrace the concept of that death is a reality? How do we, how do we want to discuss it? How do we want to address it? How do we want to recognize the fact that death is and honor it because we're all going to experience it and we're all going to leave behind someone. So how can we help that within our own structures, our own familial structures and, and friendly structures? How can we make that an easier process for everybody so that we're at peace with that moment? Because obviously the person who, who has selected to leave earlier has not come to peace with the environment. So what is it? How can we help each other become better prepared for living as well as for the, uh, for the dying part. Wyatt Aloisio and Joe Bonacera reporting for the Castleton Spartan.